This is Angel Princess, the one for two. And we are continuing off Pikmin 2. My blind playthrough of Pikmin 2. Because I've never played this before and I pushed the treasure pad again. No. Go to area selection. So, Valley Repose. Uh, push A, right? Land in this area? Yes. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to come back here since I couldn't move anywhere else. I guess so, because there's a bunch of new stuff now. Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures! No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. <laughs> so they're oversleepers? That reminds me of me, because I like to wake up late too. <laughs> oh! Take out or return? Oh, so you can return Pikmin? <laughs> they just slide up like, wee! Let's just get them all out so that way we can get even more Pikmin! Uh, derp. Can I go over here? Ooh, apparently I can. Is there anything up here? Nope. Whoa! Oh snap, that D system. Oh no, pick that one up! So, apparently that day system at the top thing... I guess I can't exactly stay and wander around as much as I'd like to, so okay. Let us get some Pikmin then for the day. Ah, come here Pikmin! Alright. Let's see, how many Pikmin do I have? Okay. So I guess for this one... Maybe for this episode, it's just to get more Pikmin and see whatever the heck we're supposed to do. Uh, I've got seven with me right now, so let's see what's up ahead. If there are any bad guys, I will be scared. What happened to my Pikmin? Okay, there they are. Uh, actually, Louis at the other side, so... Yeah, could just get the other Pikmin's like that. Oh, come here, Pikmin! Guess they're slow in snow? Yes. Alright, now let's get these. Okie dokie, that's cool. So now I just have one with me. How do I switch characters? There we go. Whoa, it's a lot of Pikmin! Man, why can't Louie have been plucking these out on his own? Nope, I have to go back to him and tell him, you better go pluck out and do something. Do something, don't just stand there. Don't be lazy like the pigmen, them sleepy noobs. Oh, did I get them all? Did I pluck them all out? Uh, yes I did. Okie dokie. Uh, pff, what if I want to get these pigmen over to Olimar? Where are the other pigmen? Oh, okay, there they are. I was like, what the heck happened to them? So, oh, okay. Um... Let's see, where's all in there? There isn't anything over here, is there? Nope! That's where Louis started? Okay, there's nothing there. So let's go back! So apparently we're supposed to smash that other bag to keep going. Come on, Pikmin! Come here, come here, come on, come on! Uh, let's see. Should she get those other Pikmin I just sprouted? It's cute! So you tell lose all my Pikmin, then that's the part that's gonna be so lame! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Meant to pluck out the Pikmin, not throw them. Oh, there's more up there! What the heck? Oh, I get that one then! Might as well have more Pikmin. Is there anything else up there? Nope. Okay. If I was playing the first Pikmin, I honestly would not be able to pass it. Because I know how there's like a time limit to recover all your ship parts. And if you don't recover a certain amount within the 30 day limit, then it's like, oh, game over. 
and I haven't played Pikmin before besides the third one, so I ra would rather not try to do that just yet. Where's Omar? Come on, let's go this way! So we can throw all our Pikmin here! And for Pikmin 2, I heard that you can have as much time as you need to to get the treasures, and you don't have to worry about time limit like in the first one. So yes, that's why I chose the second Pikmin, or Pikmin 2 over the first one. And there's a big board, oh man! Huh? Did a Pikmin die, or was that just the bull board dying? Uh, I don't know, I guess it was the bull board dying. Let's see, so there's the big one. Is that water? No, it's not water. Is that a treasure? Yes, it is a treasure. It's a can. Oh man. I don't have all my Pikmin. I don't think I'll have enough. Oh yes, I do have enough. Awesome. <laughs> it looks like they make like a rainbow. Circle, green circle. The boar won't wake up, will he? I don't think so. But once I get all my Pikmin, I will bombard him. Blah ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, let's go see the other Pikmin. I want to get as much Pikmin as I can. Okay, so when all the Mars, when you have the two captains with you, that then they both pluck out. Should go throw more Pikmin to help these guys. Yeah, come here, Pikmin. How much more Pikmin can carry that? Only 10 more? Oh, okay. I guess it's only 10 above the limit. Ah. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were gonna take it here to the onion. Alright, first treasure for day two. What's this? Name? Utter Scrap. Okie dokie. Let us go! Let's bombard that bo board! I think that's the only enemy name that I know of. <laughs> Everything else I'm just gonna be all like, Oh, that flower, that flying flower thing, whatever. I don't know. Attack the bo board! Attack him! Don't you dare! No! My Pikmin! He ate my Pikmin! Dang it! Well, maybe I should have whistled to get save them. I think I played too much Nintendo Land, I swear. In Nintendo Land, the, with the Pikmin attraction, I just throw my Pikmin like nothing, because, you know, you get them back no matter what. Even if, they, if the enemies kill them, your Pikmin just come back automatically. And, well, right here... The only way to get Pikmin, I'm guessing, is just getting the enemies and getting these pellets to the onion. So yeah, I shouldn't have any tender land in the back of my mind. I need to keep my Pikmin safe. I already lost four? Five? Yeah... So how do I switch? How do I switch? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. If I want to be Olimar. Oh, okay, so if I, I don't have to necessarily whistle to get the Pikmin. I could just run through them. But whistling does seem faster, too. Oh, I should get Louie. Louie, get over here! So that way you can help me pick. Pluck. Alright, so the day's almost over. I wonder how much more I can get. I shouldn't just throw my Pikmin like that, huh? Should try to keep them safe from the enemies. So, what's this? Is it them to just break it down? Yes, it is. So this is my logic for Pikmin. If there's something that looks like it can be broken or taken down, or picked up, just throw Pikmin at it. <laughs> 
Eventually something will happen, right? 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 Can I help out? Oh, uh, kind of. I'm punching, but Pikmin are more effective. <laughs> I don't even think Olimar is doing anything. Louis, do something! Don't just make Olimar punch. Work with the Pikmin! There you go. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall when masked with their mightest for rushes? Louis, did Olimar instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not. Olimar, you are following your duty as superior. Superior, allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release to throw them. Call them into a group with B. Didn't you just explain that on the last day? Press C to disband the group. Point at the screen and press down on D-pad to issue orders. Press down on down to swarm Pikmin on treasure and enemies or make them march in a line. Oh, okay. To make them swarm an enemy, huh? Let's see. <laughs> I like the little sound effect it makes on the Wemo, like doo -doo 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 -doo, like a marching band. So what's that? Okay, good thing I didn't throw Pikmin at it. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could land the ground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. I don't know if I want to go in, actually. Oh. Well, that's the only way I could go, because, I mean... Only blue Pikmin can go on water, so let us go! Enter this hole with your Pikmin squad, yes. Oh, this is the only way you can go. The other way is a patch of water. Yay, game is saved! Sub level 1, Emergence Key. Oh, that's what he means by the little protocol thing. Intriguing, my heat sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. Now this is just danger lies ahead, but the promise of treasure is tantalizing. If you wish to check underground terrain, press plus to communicate with me. I am not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. Mm, I still consider you just a ship <laughs> and a treasure collector. But okay, let's see. Orange! That's a treasure, right? Let's see. Should I try and attack those guys? They don't look happy. They don't look... ATTACK! Ha ha ha, they didn't even know what hit them. Now attack! Oh, I was like, what the heck just happened? Okay, it's just a treasure. Citrus something? Oh, citrus lump. Ha <laughs> ha! I was half right. Oh no! Hey, cheater, 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 cheater! I wasn't ready! No, don't you dare eat my Pikmin! Oh, he ate one of my Pikmin! That's cool. That wasn't fair. How could you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hole. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. Oh, hmm. So I shouldn't be carrying beasts then? Oh, I don't know. I thought I was like, oh, let's take them to the end and you get even more Pikmin. But there is no onion here. So okay, I guess I'll just leave the enemies behind. Seven up? Does that really say seven up? Quenching emblem. Oh, I see. Okay then, so I guess the advice is just to not exactly waste time getting baddies. 
so I won't bother with baddies then. It was the same thing in Pikmin 3 actually with the treasure hunt. Baddies weren't worth much. This hole appears to be quite deep. My sensors indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louis, you do recall that you can adjust the camera with these and up left and right on deep eye, correct? Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Don't worry, all your Pikmin will follow you. Approach the hole and press A to enter it. Okie dokie. Let us go! Yes, dwell deeper. Saving! Okay. I just lost one Pikmin from that sub level one. So, how deep does this cave go then? Final floor! Okay, so it's only two. Well, that answers my question. Yay! No, don't you dare eat my Pikmin again! Just bombard them. No mercy. Oh! Ooh, shiny. It's a globe. It's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design of the outer shore resembles the surface of a planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be uh, unable to lift it. Oh dear. So... I'm sure I'm gonna need... Purple Pikmin? Wow, 101? Yep. So where do I get these purple Pikmin? I am aware of what purple Pikmin are. I just don't know how you get them. But I'm guessing we will find out in the game! Because apparently we need purple Pikmin! Attack! Don't you dare eat my Pikmin! Don't you dare eat my Pikmin! Okay. Whoa, what the heck? I see, like, purple flowers. Okay, so... Explain to me, com computer! How do you work these flowers? Astounding! A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, clearly it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. So my red Pikmin become purple Pikmin? Oh dear. Oh. Wow, that's how you get purple pigment then. Whoa, tough guy. Oh, must be tough to make earthquakes like that. Amazing, a purple pigment. It has hair and it's quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of pigment was not mentioned in your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers. Intriguing. Perhaps there are others? I guess there will be white flowers then. Okie dokie. So... Should I really toss on my red Pikmin? Can I even... Where am I gonna keep the purple Pikmin? Huh. Maybe I'll just get enough purple Pikmin. What's this? Maybe I'll just get enough purple Pikmin to carry the globe. Astounding! Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Approaching and press A to try. I'm guessing that's what gets me out of the dungeon? That better not kill my red Pikmin. Because I know red Pikmin, or oh, any Pikmin that's not blue, would get killed from water. Let's see. So I'm aware that one purple Pikmin equals ten red Pikmin. So how many do I have? Oh no! Did I hurt any of my Pikmin? Let's see. Oh, okay. So you can only get a certain amount of purple Pikmin from the flowers. Okay, dokie. Okay. That answers how much pic purple Pikmin I'm gonna have. Oops. Ok, 
Okie dokie, let's go pick up that globe. Oops, wrong way. Oh, I don't care about the baddies because apparently they're not worth much. <laughs> it's a little noises the Pikmin make. I don't know, I, I, I find it a little bit cute. Alright, I hope this will be enough Pikmin then. Oh, the purple ones are not only strong, but they're slow. Whoa, they're like boom, 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 boom. Eh, might as well make every Pikmin curious. Woo! The bodies still get in the way, do they? They shouldn't. Wow, it really does look like a green circle because of their leaves. <laughs> I guess after this, that is it for this episode. And this emergence, whatever it was called. It's so shiny! Name's Spherical Atlas. Pretty much a globe. Is it only half the globe? Yeah, it is only half the globe. <laughs> There's the device resembling a microchip embedded inside the sphere, retrieving data. Error. I can only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the Sphere Chart. <laughs> Press blah plus to contact me, go to the exploration case on the radar screen and pressing left on D-pad. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the decoded territory tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow sounds like a good, good day. So... Oh, okay. I guess I'm, I'm, I am supposed to go to Geyser, Geyser, to get out. Wait, so what about when you go to later dungeons with like even more floors? The only way you can get out is getting to the end? Well, that's, that's gonna be lame. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh no! My Pikmin! I don't want to lose my Pikmin! Oh right, the purple Pikmin. Wait, what, what, what? No, 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 no! I don't want you carrying them! Oh, good thing I looked at that, otherwise I would have lost Pikmin. Are all my Pikmin here? All accounted for? Yes. Escape to the surface with your Pikmin? Yes. Don't, don't the Pikmin get killed by the water if they're not blue? Or do geezers, geysers do not count? Cave complete! Yay! And I lost a Pikmin in that cave. Save! Yes, I would like to save. The game has been saved. Valley repose. Oh, I guess I'm just going back to. Whoa, they just like all popped out of nowhere. <laughs> so, is that it for the day? You have successfully returned to Pet Surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first success. Spelunking expedition. You've gathered the large amount of data that needs in depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. So I guess that is it. Wow, this guy talks, or machine computer likes to talk a lot. Almar Louis, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable. You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest, as you have all as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. Oh, guess he's not kidding when we have all the time we need, because, you know, there is no time limit in Pikmin 2. Oh, so the purple Pikmin go on the ship? <laughs> okay. So yeah, I get to have purple Pikmin!
And there are the boards being active at night. Today's report. Pretty much showing all the treasures and baddies. Um, the Pikmin that I lost. No! Oh, well, right here it shows how much I gained, but right here it shows how much I lost. Aww. Oh. I already lost six Pikmin on the first, er, second day. Baby steps first on more. Plan one, don't worry about me. Our debt is with happy Hakutite savings alone after all. Besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! Okay, I just saved already, but let's just save again. Game has been saved. So I guess that was Valley of Repose and the Emergence Cave. So awesome, what's gonna be next? Awakening Wood! Okay, this is Angel Princess, come over for two. See you next time!